What is going on guys? Welcome back to your 34th physics lesson and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about satellites but before I start rambling on about satellites I'm gonna say this you guys better get ready to use your imagination because this example is gonna be really crazy but it's the only way that I know to demonstrate satellites so go ahead and picture Earth right here pretty good Earth I'll label it for you Earth the greatest drawing ever now Imagine that you were feeling really ambitious one day because you know you're tired of playing Xbox, so you decided to go to the North Pole and build a tallest, the tallest building ever created. So here's you standing on top of your building. Yeah, this is my building. Look, world, look what I did. I'm the best. You say that because you know you're kind of cocky. You're so cocky and so stupid that aside from standing on top of a big building at the North Pole, you thought it would be funny to bring a potato gun with you. Why? Guys, I don't know, you're kind of weird. But anyways, what you did is you made this potato gun and you decided to shoot out a potato. So the first potato you shot out was basically traveling like this. It crashed into India somewhere because the force of gravity, since it's sucking everything towards the center of the earth, the potato pretty much gave into that force of gravity and made smashed potatoes or mashed potatoes over in India just basically whenever you shoot a gun out I don't know maybe you're hunting in real life the bullet is gonna get closer and closer to the ground because gravity like everything else on earth is sucking everything towards the center of the earth so then you're like you know what that's not what I wanted to happen I'm gonna tune my gun up a little bit maybe you added more CO2 or gunpowder however the heck you know you make a potato gun and you decided that this potato was gonna go further so you know you ramp this baby up and you shot out the next potato and it was like boom and it went on forever dude freaking people keep texting me during my tutorial I'm gonna drop kick my phone but anyways this potato right here you put way too much gunpowder in this even though gravity was pulling it on pulling on the potato a little bit since you shot it so hard the potato overcame the force of gravity and it pretty much acted as a rocket it's like goodbye cruel world and the momentum from the potato would send it moving through space forever so again two forces are acting on the potato first of all the momentum or the power or force from the gun which is causing it to move away from the gun but also the force of gravity which is caused by the earth and it's sucking it towards the center of the earth so that's why instead of perfectly straight like out here the potato had kind of a curved path and it eventually overcame gravity so it's going to go on forever and ever but that's why the path is curved a little bit because gravity was sucking on it you know if gravity sucks and doesn't push or whatever but now you're like dude I don't want to make mashed potatoes but this was way too much almost blew my arms off so then I'm gonna put it directly in the middle whatever potato gun meter you have so you shot this last one out and here's what happened it traveled like this boom, and hit you right in the back of the head and you're scratching your head because you never took a physics class before so you didn't know why this happened well the reason for this is just the right amount of thrust would keep your potato satellite orbiting around the earth because these two forces which is a the force of the potato or the force from the gun which caused the potato to have momentum and b the force of gravity would balance out perfectly and actually what would happen is those two forces would cause this potato to orbit around the earth forever and ever and ever now this is actually how satellites work whenever they launch those in space on a whoever launches satellites in NASA probably they're able to orbit around the earth without crashing down in the ground or getting lost in space because these two forces balance out perfectly so guys that is how satellites work and that is what would happen if you ever built you know a huge building at the North Pole and launch potato guns or launch potatoes out of your potato gun so uh, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video